There's a, a feeling of finality to this um, because, yes, we've never been here. The Lady Vols have never had a coaching search. Today, the Lady Vols cut ties with head coach Holly Warlick. Her role was incredibly tough, forging a career in the footsteps of an unmatched legend. Of course, we're talking about Pat Summit. Warlick's teams won three games for every one they lost and brought home multiple SEC titles. But Tennessee Athletics Director Philip Fulmer decided the team needed a new leader. At the same time, he underlined the respect the university has for a woman who has devoted the bulk of her career to playing and coaching for Big Orange. We check in first tonight with 10 News anchor Beth, excuse me, Russell Biven, who joins us from UT's campus with more perspective on coach Holly Warlick and the impact of this move. Russell. Yeah, well, Robin and John, first of all, it was a very tough decision for athletic director Philip Fulmer. Obviously, they have known each other for a very long time. He is on campus today dealing with this situation before he heads to Louisville to support the men's team who take on Purdue tomorrow in the Sweet 16. Coach Fulmer says while this decision stings, he feels it is what's best for this program. He says assistant coach Dean Lockwood will maintain control of the team while the search continues. He also said, quote, Holly has dedicated much of her adult life to the University of Tennessee and the Lady Vol program. She loves Tennessee, and Tennessee should always love her back. She was a player here. She was an assistant under Pat Summit for 27 years. Then in 2012, she decided, with the encouragement of Pat Summit, to take over for the legend. She did so for seven years. She took those teams to the NCAA tournament every year, won over 71% of her games, won three SEC titles. But tonight, she is no longer the head coach of the Lady Vols. More coming up on the show and what is next for Tennessee and reaction as well. Right now, Robin and John, we send it back to you. All right, Russell, live on the UT campus. Russell, thank you very much.